Started in Puerto Rico with a special population of bees, the so-called gentle killer bees are an African-European hybrid, and scientists believe they may be an important buffer against the bee crisis. Speaking of mixed genes, a group of Galapagos finches have been caught in the act of becoming a new species. It all started in 1981 when a non-native male cactus finch flew 65 miles from Española to the island Daphne Major. It mated with a local bird and 40 years on, their unique progeny now number around 30. Over in Brazil, a new species of frog was discovered on an abandoned stretch of highway. Spotted skin along with habitat shared by big cats inspired the amphibian's common name, the jaguar snouted tree frog. The scientists who found it described the frog's call as being scratchy like a wood saw. They suspect the animal is already endangered. In bird news, New Zealand's native kakapos are making a comeback. Just 18 kakapos existed by the mid-1970s, but recent counts puts the population around 150. They're not out of the woods, and to make a full recovery, the flightless parrots need more territory and fewer non-native predators. The world's smallest gliders have grown by 23. Also known as flying mice or pygmy gliding possums, feather-tailed gliders are difficult to breed in captivity. The successful effort is promising but keepers suspect the conditions were just right for the females. Off to Canada, where new footage shows bowhead whales enjoying a spa day near Baffin Island. Rubbing on rocks likely helps the animals remove dead skin and pesky parasites as they molt. Humpback whales that cruise past Russia's far east are little studied, but new research suggests they may have a secret hideout. About 1,500 individual whales were photographed in the area, but just 10% of those showed up in known breeding grounds. And a new study shows that carbon monoxide helps elephant seals make their deepest dives. We tend to think of the gas as deadly, but as it binds to red blood cells, it slows the delivery of oxygen. The seals have extremely high levels, which might allow them to conserve oxygen and explain their one and a half hour dive time. Routing off with a woolly relocation, famed woolly mammoth Luba will be doing some time at the Australian Museum. The baby was born about 42,000 years ago and is one of the best preserved mammoth specimens in the world. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.